All right, Stephen Key, I'm back. I've got Lauren here. She just talked about her great product, Baby Soothe. It's a wonderful product. It's really smart. Um, but I've got a couple questions for you because I sure. know you're really good, not only with coming up with a great <laughs> idea, but you're so good at the PR. How do you do it? People are always asking me, how do I get on TV shows and what do I do? But you seem to get on these shows, national <laughs> shows, pretty easy. How do you do it? I stalk a little bit. No, <laughs> you know, I, I, I truly believe in my product and, and the fact that it, it helps so many people and it, it positively impacts so many lives, um, which is a beautiful thing. And so that is sort of like the fire in my belly to, you know, push to connect with, let's say, the producer at Dr. Oz. So um, let's say I, I had emailed her for months. I mean, emailed her my story and said, listen, you know, um, I'm a female entrepreneur. I, you know, I'm a mom entrepreneur. You know, I'd love to get on, you know, whatever segment it was. I believe it was an you know, entrepreneurial segment at the time. Please just, you know, give me a chance. And when you're authentic and you're speaking from the heart, people want to hear that, see that. And so that's what truly has helped me to connect with all of these various, you know, people in the media. They want to hear your story. It's all about the story. I mean, it's all about, you know, what what the story is. And so that's what's helped me to land these various, um, you know, media spots, Dr. Raw's Good Morning America and a couple of other things. Okay, so. so how do you find the name? I mean, how do you go about doing it? People are asking, who do I send it to? How did you find the name and how did you reach out? Was it through through their website or did you do through LinkedIn? Generally, I would research. So if, you know, I would look on the, let's say, Dr. Raw's website um, to see if any upcoming segments, there was anything coming up that would make sense, um, would be a good fit for me to uh, appear on. And then I would research the supervising executive, let's say, um, executive producer, if you will, look those people up on LinkedIn. And then that was that's how the process started. And then I would email and then I would send another follow up email maybe after a week. And then what happened was once I landed one thing. So let's say Dr. Oz was, you know, a couple of years ago, my first appearance on Dr. Oz. Then I had the pictures. I had the um, the actual segment that I could then send to, let's say, the producer at the Tamron Hall show. Um, so it, it's easier once you, you know, the more you get the easier it is to sort of show your credibility and show that you've been in the media and people get interested in that. So that's so helped. Yeah, you're going to leverage one opportunity uh, to the next. But they probably are looking at to see if you're camera ready. for the, If you can go on national TV, they really probably want to make sure you're not going to freeze up. Do you think that's why they're, those those clips are good for them? Yes. Um, I Actually, that's a great question. Uh, yeah, I think that absolutely they like to see that you're – you know, you have a personality that you're excited okay. that, you know, they want to also, you know, they want to see that it's something that like your personality that maybe, you know, you're funny, a little funny, a little, you know, outgoing. I think that definitely helps. Yeah, it probably helps. OK, one last question. You ran a, uh, a press release back in 2014. Yes. Did that work? Um, Not really. Uh, because at the time prior to deciding to license my product, I was focused on manufacturing it on my own. So I was on Kickstarter and then okay. I had the press release and there was, you know, press around that. So it was very early on and okay. my product wasn't available yet. So, um, the long answer to that is no, it did not. It okay. definitely did not help. Okay. One last question. I got, I could keep you on here forever. One last question. <laughs> So you're on Dr. Oz, and I remember that, and your product wasn't quite ready yet. Yes. But how'd you come back again? That's almost impossible. You, you, you yeah, I mean, you're, you're back on and when your product was ready. What did you do to do that? How did you reach out and what did you say? So after uh, landing the um, spot back in, I think it was 2017, the first time I was on Dr. Raw's. Now I met the producers. I was developing a relationship with this one, this one specific, uh, producer at the time. And actually we became 
friends that we just stayed in touch. She loved my story and that, hel- that helped. So, um, what's nice is that once you connect to, to producers and people in the media, you just, you have to sustain that relationship. And that's what I did. So, um, when then last year there was another segment that they wanted to bring people on from the original segment to talk to Barbara Corcoran about, you know, people who made it. And so mm-hmm. she thought that I would be a perfect person since I launched, I was in Walmart last September and, you know, it was kind of like, you know, this success story. And so, um, that was it. Okay. So she was like, this would be great for you. And she reached out to me, believe it or not, and said, I okay. think this would be a perfect fit for you. So, so keep the relationships going. Once you get in, be nice, be, yes. um, entertaining, I guess a little bit too, you know, people identified with you. You have a great story to tell. It's newsworthy. Um, wow. Good job. Oh, thank, thank you. I appreciate it. I think, listen, we all have the, um, the capability to create something and also to, you know, promote it and talk about it. And if you believe in your heart that it's something that's special and that can help others, that's, that's it. That's, that's the drive. So that's, what's helped me tremendously throughout this 10 year journey. Lauren. Awesome. Thank you for coming back on. Uh, Thank you. Thank you.